So this, we have the formation of organolithium compounds in addition to carbonyl groups. So the reactant will be an alkali halide with two carbons and a bromine, and you'll have two lithiums to form organolithium, then a carbonyl group, then hydrogen plus. So we have two carbons and a bromine, and when you have your two lithiums, that one of the lithiums will replace the bromine, and then the other one, the other lithium, will bind to the bromine. So you'll, you'll have LiBr. So now, with this compound, you can use it to attack a carbonyl, right? In this case, this would be a ketone. So this becomes a nucleophile, attacks right here, right? So attacks right here. Let me expand that. Okay. So it attacks right here, right? It attacks. And then the double bond, the carbon bond, double bonded to an oxygen, that bond will go up to the oxygen, form a negative charge, um, and then therefore, um, since there's no good leaving groups, the negative charge will stay there, and then the acid will donate a hydrogen to become an alcohol. So the final product will just be the structure added, the um, structure, wh whichever carbon structure was added, and then an alcohol where the oxygen is. So notice um, how you can easily make a mistake, right? So if you bonded it directly to it, you lose a carbon. So always remember to count your carbon. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this sh final structure should have six carbons. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six carbons total. So that's how you make sure that you don't accidentally lose a carbon. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.